Hey there! Today is Sunday inspiration for my garden. So I was doing my, my morning walkthrough and I walked over to the opposite side of the garden where I have some plants, some volunteers that grew out of my um, compost pile and it turns out that the volunteers are actually cantaloupe. So last week when I was walking through I saw that there was the beginning of some cabbage worm damage and you guys can see and I said you know what I have time let me just go ahead and I think I was I, I, somehow I got sidetracked and I didn't get back to it till today so I said okay it's just a little cabbage worm there's just a little damage um, I can get back to it um, tomorrow and tomorrow became um, next week and in one week this is how much damage there is even the fully the one that was um, furthest along is completely eaten up and it made me think of sin you know sometimes we play around with sin we play around with that thing that we know we shouldn't be playing with or we know that person that we shouldn't be hanging out with that we hang out with and we think we can control it we think we can get, we can take care of it later but before you know it it takes over and it reminds me of what the Bible says in James 1 and I'm just paraphrasing now since I'm not in front of my Bible but it basically says when desires take give birth desires give birth to to sin right so temptations those desires give birth to sin then when sin is fully developed it leads to death and that's exactly what happened here it started off with just a little cabbage worm which is a minute minute worm you can hardly barely even see it half of the times we don't see it all we see is the remnants and sometimes we're not even aware of the sin but they are remnants of sin speaking of the devil there is a cabbage worm you can see it's so tiny you might see that cabbage worm and think oh that can't cause much damage but before you know it your entire plant is gone look at it it's right there so what is your cabbage worm what's that sin that you've been leaving unchecked what's that sin that started off small and now is totally consuming your life and destroying it what do you need to get rid of who do you need to get rid of what is that habit that you need to get rid of you don't need to do it alone you can do it with Jesus he can help you overcome he has come to help you overcome your sins he came and he died for all your sins you can ask him into your life today we can't mess around with certain things we know that they're just gonna lead us in the wrong path you know take care of it today and if it's something you can't take care of you know ask Jesus into your heart he can help you get rid of that sin you know he doesn't want us to clean up ourselves he doesn't expect us to clean up ourselves before we come to him we need to come to him today and he will help us overcome any sin, sin any temptation anything that's beyond us he will help with come to him today guys give your life to him today and he will get help you to overcome that sin before that sin gives birth to death Till next time um, please go ahead and read I'm gonna add these scriptures to the description and I'm gonna also add a prayer that you can pray today to ask Jesus into your heart don't delay guys ask him into your heart today don't let that little sin lead to death